Hello YouTube, this is Gamer Delta, and today I got a package in the mail containing some really cool Skylanders figures. These are Toys R Us exclusives. This is the second, technically the second wave of legendaries for uh, Giants. We have the Legendary 3 pack, of course, and we also have a Legendary Giant as well. So, um, let's start with the Legendary Giant first. He is Bouncer. A pretty cool choice. I do kind of like Bouncer. He is cool. You can see he has all legendary characters. He's got the purple and gold scheme going on. He's got the purple, um, pretty much purple chest plate and armor there. All those other pieces are gold. And he's just uh, pretty much a more powerful version of Bouncer. Take him out of the pack here. There we go. Set him down over here and get his car. Throw that out. Anyway, here we have his sticker and card. So the sticker is the same thing as the card there. And we have legendary bouncer. His stats are 150 in power, 120 in defense, 50 in speed, and 90 in luck. Again, there's Legendary Bouncer. And here to compare is his normal counterpart, regular Bouncer. As you can see, he pretty much has a gold, all gold scheme going on there. Pretty much the only difference is the purple armor. Well, there is another difference, but I'll show you later. Still pretty cool. He's also got the gold lightning bolts going down there instead of red. And his uh, torso there, the translucent piece is actually a little bit white. The only other thing I don't like about the legendary bouncer, at least the one I've got here, is there's actually a little smudge of paint right here. But then again, I did order this online because the the two closest Toys R Us Toys R Us is, uh, near me are an hour and a half away, and pretty much. It's actually cheaper just to pay the outrageous shipping rather than pay the outrageous gas it would take me to get there. But yep, there's Legendary Bouncer, pretty cool. Anyway, putting him to the side here, let me take a look at the others. Throw you in the back. And then here we have the second official Legendary Triple Pack. The first one, of course, had Spyro, Chop Chop, and Bash. This one now has Slam Bam, Igniter, and Jetvac. So pretty cool. Another um, trio of elements here. Now, I believe this triple pack, allow, along with a certain other character that was released that I do not have yet, but is coming in the mail, I believe this makes the complete round that of eight, eight not, clouding, not including Bouncer, but eight total legendary characters, one for each element. Of course, the only one that I don't have is Legendary Stealth Elf, which represents the life element, but I will be getting her later. She is coming in the mail. Throw these off and get the cards. Let's sort out the cards here. Stickers, of course, are the same as the cards, so no need to show those off. Throw them over here. One with Bouncer. Anyway, here are the characters here. Start with the one in the middle. We'll go Slam Bam here. Slam Bam, of course, is uh, actually, let me just get his. Original series two character right here. His uh, skin on the original figure is translucent blue. As you can see, him on the one here, it's all purple, with the gold portion being on his armor rather than silver. And honestly, I say I like the original a little bit more, but this isn't too bad though, just because uh, I like the translucent parts on him, so it's pretty neat. But still, pretty menacing, pretty good for a legendary water character. Not too bad. Anyway, 
getting his uh, stat card out here and then comparing it with his Let me just get all the cards here um, who's the fourth one? Not just like man oh okay alright comparing his legendary card with his normal card here slam bam's legendary stats are 95 power, 95 defense, 50 in speed, and 40 in luck. Now comparing that to his original counterpart, his original card has 90 attack power, 90 defense, so both 5 up on the attack and defense, and then 50 and 40 in both speed and luck, same thing. So he's got a little bit more attack and defense in his legendary form, which is kind of cool I guess, not too bad. There's Legendary Slam Bam. One of the more bigger characters too, which is kind of cool. Moving onward, we'll go with Legendary Igniter here. I don't think they could have picked a better character for the fire element than the cool Fire Knight. As you can see, he's got the gold armor and purple compared to his original figure, which has the blue and silver. Not too bad there. Wish they would have did a little something with the fire too, like maybe make it blue or something, but oh well, it's not too bad there. And we pretty much did the same. His shield is also pr more pronounced too, rather than having a gold trimming. I do like that. There's Legendary Igniter. Then taking his card here, we can compare it to the original. We will start with his stats. Legendary Igniter's stats are 1 110 in attack, 80 in defense, 40 in speed, and 50 in luck. And then taking a look at his original card here, you can see his original card has 100 in attack, so that's 10 up on the legendary. And then 80 defense, 40 speed, and 50 luck. So the only real difference is the increase in attack power. <laughs> Again, because he's because this is pretty much the only increase that he has, which is in attack power. I wish they would have made his like flame maybe like bluer or something to make it indicate that he's a little more hotter. That he's a little more, uh, you know, he's a little more beefed up there, but still not too bad. I say not too bad, way too much. Sorry about that. But the last legendary character we have is Jet Vec. Like I say, he looks. His uh, purple feathers is a little weird, but the gold armor is rocking. I think that's really cool. I wish they would have just kept his uh, regular blue color scheme with the gold armor. That would have been awesome, especially on the light core figure. But his regular figure just has the white and gray feathers with the blue armor. Still not too bad. here get, take a look at his stat card his stats compared to the regular jet vac legendary jet vac has 60 in attack 50 in defense 80 in speed and 85 in luck and his original card he has 60 in attack 50 in defense 70 in speed and 80 in luck so the only two differences here are he has 10 plus in speed and 5 plus in luck. Nothing in attack or defense. But his speed and his luck. He's a little faster and he's a little luckier. So there's not too big of a difference in the legendary characters, but they did register as separate characters, so it is nice to have them in your collection. As well as the color scheme really doesn't look bad, too bad on them. Again, probably my least favorite is probably Slam Bam, just because I like it. Only it's only because I like his uh, original more. But still, the Igniter and Jet Vac still look pretty awesome with that ar golden armor. 
I do like that. As well as Legendary Bouncer too. The purple armor doesn't look too bad on. Speaking of which, there's also another another quick difference that I would like to point out. That both of these, like Granite Crusher and Normal Crusher, they actually have different uh, color pots when they light up. Normal Bouncer here. As you can see when you place him on the portal, he has white, white glowing eyes and his torso lights up in a yellow hue all the way around including the little symbol on his back the tech element symbol it also lights up as well and then legendary bouncer legendary bouncer's color scheme is white all around he has the same piercing white eyes there they're a little bit dimmer but not too bad as you can say he has a whitish blue around his torso there including his uh, tech symbol so that's pretty cool and he glows pretty nicely too glad he does because uh, he did come in the mail so but there is a comparison of them side by side on the portal not too bad there anyway that was the uh, legendary giants characters thank you for watching and stay tuned for more videos